Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Beer Geek Nation. I'm your host, Chris. Thank you so much for joining me once again for another beer review. And today, guys, we are looking at the newest release from Green Flash Brewing out of San Diego, California. This is the Rayon Vert. It's a 7% alcohol by volume Belgian pale ale. And really the big twist to this one, the, the Green Flash twist to it, is that they added Brett to it. Um, to help ferment it along. So it's got that wild yeast in there. It's going to be a big kind of funky, dry, white wine type of character to it. It's going to be green flash. You know they're going to hop it up the West Coast style. Um, this is really their take on the Trappist beer or Aval, um, which is also pretty hoppy for a Trappist beer as far as Trappist beers go. And they do add Brett to that one as well. So this beer is going to constantly be changing, you know, a year from now, two years from now. So it's definitely going to be sellerable. But with that said, how does it taste now? So let me get into it, guys. Let you guys know how it smells, tastes, and give you the verdict when Green Flashes Rayon Vert. All right, guys, so the appearance on the Rayon Vert, it is a gorgeous, gorgeous golden orange. It's darker orange in the middle. Tons of carbonation streaming off the bottom of the glass. Really, really hazy, a slightly cloudy looking to it. I can see a light, but it's a kind of a block in the back there. Um, there was a nice four to five fingers of a bright white head on there. The head itself actually looks like a, like an ice cream scoop in the middle of a beer. Nice tight white bubbles um, on there. It is dissipating, but not quickly at all. Tons of lacing, as you guys can see, leaving on a glass. Just a beautiful, beautiful looking beer. Really nice stuff. All right guys, the aroma on the round vert. Wow, big funkiness, that barnyard, wet hay. There's kind of a leather quality to it, like a wet leather quality to it. Definitely getting some of the hoppiness in there. It's a, a more of a, a sweeter hop profile, a bit of citrus, a bit of pine. There's kind of a like a mango or a papaya, a ripe orange quality coming through. Blends really nice with the funkiness. It's kind of like a little bit of sweetness and then pow, hits you with this big kind of Brett funkiness. It's an awesome, awesome smelling beer. All right, guys, a taste on the round vert. Cheers. Right at the front of the tongue, I'm getting a big hop presence in there. I'm getting a citrus, pine needly, a slight kind of sweet, overly ripe orange in there as well. Then almost immediately as the beer hits the middle of the mouth, you start getting those Brett characters. There's big, funky, wet hay, um, horse blanket, you know, it's a stupid term and it's, it's kind of hard to explain, but it's just a, a barnyardy funkiness. Again, kind of a, um, a wet leather, a wet leather character coming through in the taste as well. Blends really nicely. This is a pretty malt forward beer. It's a light malt though, really coats your mouth. Nice bready character. Bready, not Bretty. Mixes with the hops and the Brett funkiness to really kind of combine to make this really kind of effervescent white wine tasting beer. Nice, super dry finish. Again, it's more of a white wine or champagne type finish on this one. And that's only getting even drier as this beer kind of evolves. Aftertaste, I'm getting more of the breadiness, a slight funk character still from the Brett in there. Um, definitely a little bit of hoppiness. Again, it's a sweet kind of just slightly there kind of hoppiness that really, really helps to balance out the bread and the malt in this one. It's a really well-balanced, well-crafted and blended beer. It's really nice stuff. All right, guys, so the final verdict on the Rayon Vert from Green Flash Brewing, 7% alcohol by volume, Belgian Pale Ale, available in four packs now. Guys, I'm going to give this one an A. This one really surprised me. I wasn't expecting such a big Brett character out of such a big funkiness. Um, and then you really take those, those characters from you'd expect from a Belgian Pale Ale, you know, a nice breadiness, a nice kind of spicy yeast in there. But then you add the Green Flash characteristic into it where you're expecting like a West Coast hot bomb. You're not getting so much of the hot bomb, but I don't think they designed that beer to be like that. You're getting a slight pininess, grapefruit, orange. Really this beer showcases what they're doing with Bread at Green Flash, a big funkiness. You know, it's, it's a super dry finish on this one, a white wine type of character coming through. And the malts in the, in the actual middle of the beer, the backbone of the beer really helped to blend with the hops and the bread. It all comes together to make a really, really awesome beer. And if you've never had a Brett forward beer, this one is one to do it. Getting an A for me, and I definitely think you guys should check it out. Give it a shot. It's a funky beer, and it's a really, really great beer. So with that said, folks, remember, life is too short. Drink amazing beer. Cheers.